It'd be hard to feel the belly wall there. Oh, I do. I feel it's torn. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. One of our new popular guys back here. Lumpy, I guess, is, is basically what I've been calling him. I'm right over here hanging out with all the yearlings. As you can tell, he is doing fine. Lump is still there. Looks like it's uh, maybe gotten a little bit bigger. He's good. He's been hanging out. He's been eating. He's acclimating really well to his new environment with the yearlings. Um, I will say that he's down at the bottom of the pecking order, uh, along with some of the other yearlings in here, some of the other young ones. But I, I knew that he was probably gonna be uh, at, at the bottom of the pecking order, just because there are some couple of bit bigger yearlings in here. And with his issue, just wanna give you an update on him. Couple of things, I've, uh, lots of questions I've been getting on him. One, is a name for him well you know i've got a couple of good ones some some advice from people I, I don't like to give them names unless i know for sure i'm gonna keep them for him i mean we could ernie with the hernia i don't know i thought that was a good one <laughs> i've heard uh you know i've called him lumpy since the beginning it's probably not the nicest name but it is what it is so a couple of questions one why didn't we quarantine him well one of the things why we didn't quarantine him is we felt like he was in a deep, his health was good. You know, I had Doc there and he's seen lots of bison. He didn't think it was a problem at all. And I get a lot of advice from him. He didn't seem like it was a problem. He could have had diseases, but just to be honest with you guys, it's rare for bison to have diseases here. And if they do in this part of the country, you're gonna be able to tell. Um, by their body language and, and and what their body is showing they would look unhealthy he obviously has the hernia um, that's that's a whole different deal um, it would have been nice to quarantine him but here's the problem with quarantining it is you can't put bison by themselves really um, because the reason why is they will stress out and they will get sick their immune system gets weak and and they I mean the worst of the worst is they can die that's the worst part of it but so that's why we don't separate the bison by themselves if you really want to quarantine them so that's why we didn't really quarantine him just wanted him to come home be around some bison feel like he's safe and, and back with some of his his cousins and some of his friends that's the reason why we didn't quarantine him some of you asked could he have bred with some of the cows no because here's the reason he's got to be at least two years old and he's only a yearling. Bison, you gotta be two years old before you're able to start breeding. They're basically two and a half years old at that point. He still has a little ways to go before he's even able to do that. Uh, plus he's he's little, he's, he's not gonna be able to hardly get up there on some of those cows. Uh, and by the way, I don't encourage beefalo at all. As part of the National Bison Association, we make an honor to never encourage that, to never do it, to never breed bison to cattle. And, and I could get into a whole bigger deal about that, but you don't want to lose the genetics of these awesome animals. And you can do that when you breed them with cattle to try to create that beef flow. We're not doing that here. We will never do that. And if anybody does that, we highly discourage it. So what was the deal with this hernia? How did he get this hernia? In case you didn't know, in case you didn't catch it in the video that I actually went and rescued him, the hernia doc said, so basically he was gored and there's no outside evidence of being gored other than the lump and where he's rubbing it's rubbed the hair raw off of it just when he lays down he was gored at some point and it didn't damage the outside skin but what it did was it tore the muscle that protects his intestines and his organs and once that damage happened an intestine popped out and that's what's going on but when i asked doc about it he said that it was almost non-repairable it's very difficult 
for these surgeries because you've got to pull that muscle back together that holds those organs in, those guts in. You've got to pull it back together and tighten it up so that intestine will stand there. Well, the intestine has popped out and has enlarged so much, he could almost die from shoving it back in. And it's so big now, I'm not sure if Doc would be able to put that intestine back in to its normal spot and then sew the muscle around it together. I think it would be a very difficult surgery. And just by talking to him, uh, it's it's it would be very difficult and not sure if he had survived that. So because his hernia is so big now and it was already big when we got him. So the next question is, what are we gonna do with old Lumpy? Well, we're gonna just take care of him the best that we can. And I know a lot of you want that surgery and I hope you understand a little bit more about, about why it's almost impossible to do that surgery for him. We're gonna take good care of him here. Nothing's gonna change. He's able to graze. He's able to be around his age of bison, these yearlings that we have out here. He's the same age as them. So uh, we're gonna keep feeding them and just giving the best health as, as possible. We'll see him again. I'll keep you updated on uh, Lumpy. We'll keep an eye on that, his condition, but uh, it'll be nice to actually get him back up whenever we go to work him in the fall. It'll be fun to try to get him in the squeeze chute and, and look at that hernia again and have Doc look at it. And so then we'll be able to see it up close uh, once we work him later on this year. So just want to give you an update on Lumpy and let you know how he was doing. Hope you guys enjoyed the past videos. Um, gonna keep you updated on the red dog season. We're right here in the middle of it and we still got more babies to go. We still, I think we have two more babies to go at this point. So we'll keep you updated. Thank you guys for watching. <music>